Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be extensively discussing how much it can cost to charge a Tesla. Welcome to TechSpot. Kindly join me as we journey through this beautiful electric ride. Make sure you watch the video and subscribe to see more similar videos in the future. When considering the perspective of getting an electric car, such as a Tesla, your initial impression might be, how much does a Tesla cost? Well, we've already taken care of that for you. If you're unfamiliar with the world of electric cars, though, your next concern might be, how much does it cost to charge? Which is a great question. Below is a full discussion of the elements that affect electric vehicle charging costs. It's very crucial to understand the differences between charging levels before diving into the cost disparities of how much it is to charge a Tesla. Let's go through these levels before the calculations. First off, we've got Level 1 AC Charging. Consider Level 1 to be the most general charging option. If you have access to a conventional wall outlet, you'll be able to charge your Tesla without difficulty or speed. Realistically speaking, you'll be able to get 110 to 120 volts into your electric vehicle if you're lucky. So if your 2021 Tesla Long Range Model 3's battery capacity is 82 kilowatt hours, charging will take days, not hours. Level 2 AC Charging This is the most usual sort of charger seen at third-party public stations. When used in a home, 220 to 240 volt connectors typically provide 40 to 50 amps and are more perfectly positioned for charging. This is about an equal amount of power to your dryer or other heavy equipment. If at all possible, Tesla advises customers to have at least a level 2 charger in their house, which is normally a relatively simple operation for an electrician or specialist to complete. This level allows you to charge your Tesla in 8 to 12 hours. Third on our list is the Tesla Supercharger, or DC Fast Charger. The Level 3 chargers, often known as DCFCs, bypass the AC methods previously mentioned in preference of obtaining power directly from the grid. They demand much more power, 480 plus volts and 100 plus amps, but their output is about 10 times higher. Tesla Superchargers can now recharge up to 200 miles of range in under 15 minutes, considering the charge rate. Depending on whatever supercharger you approach, you may expect charging speeds ranging from 90 kilowatts to 250 kilowatts. Superchargers are not advised for everyday Tesla charging due to their huge direct current. On the other hand, superchargers do allow a speedy charge for drivers on the go or making pit brakes on long road journeys. Tesla has introduced 300 kilowatt superchargers which were recently announced by Elon Musk, although we have yet to see them. They've also announced that they want to triple the size of their supercharger network in the next two years alone. This is excellent news for electric vehicle adoption, especially when the automaker allows other EV models to utilize its charging stations. Other relevant things to consider. The prices I'll be discussing below cover the approximate cost of charging from 0 to 100%. However, it's in your best interest to never allow your Tesla's EV battery to drop to zero. Additionally, unless you require the whole range for a long journey and plan to use it soon after charging, you shouldn't charge your Tesla to 100%. Keep in mind that AC chargers aren't precise, and it takes more kilowatt hours of energy to recharge a battery pack than the battery's capacity. The vehicle must convert the alternating current, or AC, from your electrical circuit to a direct current, DC, capable of charging the battery. As a direct result, the charger's efficiency drops, especially as your EV battery approaches full capacity because the level of heat rises, releasing valuable energy. Fortunately, Teslas can utilize this heat for things like battery preconditioning in cold weather, but charging your battery technically requires more kilowatt hours of energy than the actual battery size. You may be thinking about the comparison of EV charging with gasoline. For the time being, EVs are more expensive to run than a gasoline-powered car that gets good gas mileage. The cost of charging varies more than the cost of gasoline. Finding reliable public chargers takes time, and even after locating one, a charger could take 30 minutes to charge from 20 to 80%. So let's get down to the business of the day. How much does it cost to charge a Tesla in your home? First off, we'll analyze the rates for each Tesla model based on whether or not you have access to AC charging at your residence. 
we can estimate how much it will cost you to charge your TESI on average in the U.S. using some very innovative arithmetic. We utilize the United States' average rates for residential energy usage in cents per kilowatt hour to calculate the cost of charging from home. This comes to 0.1399 per kWh on average, but we'll round up to 14 cents to keep things tidy. So first off, the cost to charge a Tesla Model S at home. The Long Range and Plaid Model S both have a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is a good round figure to work with. So you're looking at about $14 for 100 kilowatts of electricity, right? But not so fast. Remember we said above that AC chargers aren't perfect and we do need to factor that into our equation. With a 100 kilowatt hour battery on the Model S and 14 cents per kilowatt hour, plus the 15% more energy needed due to inefficiency, completely charging your Model S from 0 to 100 will cost around 1647. This calculation also depends on how long your starting battery lasts, and realistically, it should be a little less than that. Cost to charge Tesla's Model X at home. Both future Model X versions include a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, just as its elder sedan sibling. Same size battery, same pricing. 1647 to completely charge your Model X from 0 to 100%. However, because the Model X is a bigger and heavier Tesla with a slightly shorter range than the S, let's compute the cost per mile. The Model X long range will cost around $0.046 per mile and about $4.58 for 100 miles of range, based on an estimated range of about 360 miles. The Model X Plaid, on the other hand, which is faster but has a shorter range, is anticipated to cost about $0.048 per mile, and again, about $4.84 per 100 miles. Cost to charge the Tesla Model 3 at home. Fully charging a 50 kilowatt hour battery on the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus costs about $8.24, which is not so bad. With more battery, you of course get more range, but with more range you get more charging. Longer charging times imply higher costs, so let's figure out the long range and performance trims. In the US, it costs $13.51 to charge an 82 kilowatt hour from 0 to 100, assuming an 85% charging efficiency. Cost to charge the Model Y at home. In this case, a 75 kilowatt hour battery is included in both the long range and performance models, now available in both base models. It will cost an average Model Y owner in the US $12.35 to completely charge their Tesla. So what's the cost to charge at a Tesla Supercharger or DCFC? DC fast chargers get you completely charged and back on the road much faster, but the increased ability may come at a slight cost. This pricing, once again, is highly reliant on where you're charging, the rates in place at the time of charging, and the amount of energy you're consuming from the grid. We'll use EIA statistics for average energy expenses in the US, just like we did for the household numbers. We will, however, add about 10 cents per kilowatt hour to account for the upcharge existing on DC fast chargers. As a result, we receive about 0.216 per kilowatt hour, or about 22 cents, which we may comfortably round up to that 22 cent figure. DCFCs such as Tesla superchargers receive DC power directly rather than converting it for your EV's battery, making them far more efficient than level 1 and 2 charging. Their charging efficiencies range from 90 to 99 percent, and therefore we'll use 95 percent for our calculations. So what is the cost to charge a Model Y at a supercharger? This time, we're going to begin with the lowest and work our way up. You're probably aware that the Model Y has a 75 kilowatt hour battery. When you multiply that by the typical commercial cost of 22 cents per kilowatt hours and assume 95% efficiency, you get about $17.21 to charge the Tesla on a supercharger or on a DCFC equivalent. What's the cost to charge a Model 3 at a supercharger or DCFC? Well, in this case, the 50 kilowatt hour battery in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus will cost around $11.47 to fully charge, while the 82 kilowatt hour batteries in other grades cost around $18.82 each. A Model 3 with Standard Range Plus costs about 0.044 per mile and $4.38 for 100 miles of range. 
Meanwhile, the Model 3 performance with its 315 mile range will cost about 0.060 per mile and about 597 for 100 miles. Cost to charge a Model X at supercharger or DCFC. Our final two Tesla models, both with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, should charge quickly. That means that completely charging a Model X via DC fast charging from 0 to 100 will cost around $22.95 when factoring for 95% battery efficiency. The Model S also comes with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, as is in both models previously discussed. That being said, you know it costs exactly the same as the Tesla Model X does. In conclusion, the figures above are only estimations to give you a sense of the cost differences between charging levels. Additional factors, like your location, charger, and whether or not it is peak energy hours can all play a very significant difference. In any case, they should provide you with a great idea of how to choose the appropriate charging method for your specific battery level condition. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope to see you again next time.